Welcome to Jastek, I am Prasad Mishra. Today I am going to show you how to install an aftermarket CPU cooler. Today we have a deep cool ISH 400 XT which we have done an unboxing. Then we have showed you how to remove and install a stock cooler. Then we also showed you how to remove thermal grease or thermal press from the CPU. Now let's start as a putting our aftermarket on. First you require the parts. You can check your parts from the manual. Yeah. You have only one fan, so you are not using these two, and the other components are here. The required components are just here. This is the bracket for applying to the base here. Two. These are the four keys or pegs which can which has to be installed back of the motherboard, and the screws for attaching these two to the CPU cooler. Thermal paste and this is the screw which will be used to attach through this. This is compatible for both LG775 and 115056 or 55. The bottom one is 775 and the upper one is 115050. For initial we have to do, we have to insert the, this long screws into this something which I don't know. But it has to be done like this. For four of them. This is most probably for better installation. Now we have installed this. Now let's attach the CPU. Now let's attach second part. Let's attach this to with the base of the CPU cooler. Don't remove this, we don't need to know. Just using your screwdriver and the provided screw. Put it here. Sorry. Matching the hole. Now let's apply just put one screw in so that further installation is easy. Stay tuned. We're gonna come move on to installation. Just we are taking. We will do this installation, and then we'll show you the other other parts. Now we have to install this keys of pegs on behind the motherboard. For this, as this is a complicated. For this, the tip cooler is provided with a washer which has a stick adhesive on both sides. So you have to remove any one side. Of the adhesive applying to this peg I've already done to one of them similarly for others we have done we have to remove the other one and I'm using that we can attach It's a tricky one as you can see after installing the after putting the adhesive onto this adhesive washer onto this the paper cannot be removed easily. Just use this and see you because of this nice thing the washer is not falling off. So very nice addition. As we have installed you can see the, as you can see the holes have is visible through this hole of the motherboard now you can see I perfectly placed this now we're gonna put thermal grease which is the included in the box of the deep cool for this method there are two either two ways 
either p method or line method as this is a lg1150 socket one small cpu i'm going to use the traditional p method or it can say as a uncooked gram of rice in the center of the cpu just uncooked in a line method i'm doing this as this is the first time i don't know save the extra I'm going to orient it this way so removing this back cover you can see this is a copper base so it, we have provide excellent cooling please do like this please install the our alignment we did not we do the, we did it wrong way we rectified it using our manual now we have done it we have unhooked our fan as we can see that we cannot access our screw for tightening for tightening the cooler do it in an alternate fashion first here don't do too much leave it little bit loose then in here in alternate fashion I have installed our fan and the cooler. Now we will install the PWM connector, which is located on located the top of the motherboard. Now we will try and power on our PC. Let's see, does this work or not? Mouse and keyboard on the front for now. Now let's power on the PC. Fan is spinning, the connection is fine. Pressing Dell so that it does go and go into BIOS mode. The fan is running on 36 degrees temperature. We don't know why. Should be and here is in 31. How that's possible? Don't know. Checking PC fan speed. Maybe, maybe somewhere here or there. Like the video if you like it, dislike the uh, here you may find the found out the RPM. It's running at 940 RPM the CPU fans with lower than the stock one. Stock ones was initially running at 200 RPM. So it means that our CPU is cool and it's running at 32 degrees at 900 RPM rather than 32 degrees at 11, 13,000 RPM. It means that if it will be cooler than the stock one. Thank you guys. Do like the video if you like it. Dislike the video if you dislike it. And if you're having a mixed feeling, do please leave a comment and subscribe to the channel.